In this example, I have aluminium, which is a metal reacting with a molecule of chlorine, and it's going to produce uh, produce AlCl3 aluminium chloride. And it's a ballast equation again. So what the ballast equation states is that there are two aluminiums reacting with three molecules of chlorine, and it's producing two molecules of AlCl3. So we can we can write down the ratio which is two is reacting with three molecules of chlorine and it's producing two molecules of AlCl3. Now that's the simplest ratio. Now what if I had I had 6.68 moles of chlorine. Now if I had 6.68 moles of chlorine I want to find out how much aluminium would be needed. So how much aluminium would be needed uh, to react with 6.68 moles. Now I can use ratios. I know that two aluminiums react with three molecules of chlorine. So what if I have 6.68 mol molecules of uh, moles of chlorine? Then I would need x moles of aluminium, and I I can use the unitary method. I can, uh, and that would give me it would give me three x would be equal to 6.68 into two, and I can take the three from there and divide this by three, and I can use the calculator for the calculation so it's 6.68 into 2 divided by 3 and the answer that I get is 4.45 moles so that's 4.45 moles of aluminium would be needed to react with 6.68 moles of chlorine and similarly we can find out uh, we can also find out the amount of AlCl3 that would be produced and I can pick any ratio so let's pick chlorine with AlCl3 and you can see the ratio of chlorine to AlCl3 that's 3 ratio 2 so we can use that ratio it's 3 is reacting and producing 2 molecules of AlCl3 so if I have 6.68 moles then the amount of AlCl3 produced would be x and I can criss cross and use the unitary method and that would give me 3x would be equal to 6.68 into 2 and take the 3 from there divide that 3 over here and that gives me the same answer it's going to be 4.45 moles of AlCl3 now this chemical equation over here is a slightly more complicated chemical equation uh, it's longer and uh, it has more numbers more uh, difficult to balance so but this is a balanced equation and you can see the ratio uh, what the ratio is telling you is that three calcium carbonates are reacting with two phosphoric acids H3PO4 and they're producing just one CH3PO4 2 calcium phosphate and they're producing three water molecules and three carbon dioxide molecules so that's the ratio in which the reactants are reacting and that's the ratio in which products are being produced and let's say I, I'm given I'm given uh, I'm given 1.67 moles of H3PO4 and I want to figure out how many moles of calcium carbonate would react with it so if you look at calcium carbonate over here the ratio in which phosphoric acid reacts with calcium carbonate is 2 ratio 3 so that means I, I just need to use uh, the unitary method and use ratio so I know that 2 reacts with 3 so if I have 1.67 moles then that would need x moles of calcium carbonate and I can use the unitary method and that would give me it would give me 1.67 2x would be equal to 1.67 multiplied by 3 and you get rid of the 2 so you're going to divide this by 2 and do, you do this on your calculator it's going to be 1.67 multiplied by 3 and divided by 2 and that gives me 2.505 more so so by using ratios I was able to figure out that I need 2.505 moles of calcium carbonate similarly I want to know how much how much calcium phosphate would be produced by these many moles if I if I'm reacting 1.67 moles of phosphoric acid with 2.505 moles of calcium carbonate so I need to figure out how, how, how much calcium phosphate would be produced and you can see that the ratio in which calcium phosphate is produced is ratio 1 which means I can if I pick phosphoric acid the ratio of phosphoric acid Two calcium phosphate is two ratio one, so I can use that. I know that two calcium uh, phosphoric acids uh, react with one calcium phosphate. So if I have 1.67 moles, then they're going to react with X, and you use 
you cross multiply it's going to be 2x would be equal to 1.67 and x would come out to be 1.67 divided by 2 so that would give me 1.67 divided by 2 and that would give me 0.835 moles so this is 0 0.835 moles now it's the turn to figure out how many moles of water and how many moles of carbon dioxide would be produced now there's this one simple step uh, you notice that the ratio in which uh, these are producing is 3 ratio 3 but you can compare this with calcium carbonate calcium carbonate also has a ratio of 3 so if you if you compare their numbers with calcium carbonate if 3 calcium carbonates are produced then 3 water molecules are produced and 3 carbon dioxide are produced so that means that calcium carbonate has exactly the same ratio as water and carbon dioxide which means that the amount of calcium carbonate would be exactly the same as H2O it would be exactly the same as CO2 because the ratios are the same so we have 2.505 moles of calcium carbonate which means that which means that H2O is also going to have exactly the same amount of water or moles and CO2 is also going to have exactly the same amount of moles so it's going to be 2.505 moles simply because the ratio is the same so you don't ha actually have to do the unitary method over here because that is not needed in this case now let's look at this balanced chemical equation and you can see that you have a chlorine reacting with an NaOH molecule uh, which is producing NaCl, NaClO3 and H2O uh, and it's a balanced chemical equation so the ratio that is given in the chemical uh, equation is that three chlorine molecules are reacting with six molecules of NaOH and they're producing five uh, formula units of NaCl and one molecule of NaClO3 and three water molecules so that's the ratio in which the reactants are reacting and the products are being produced and this is the simplest ratio so uh, let's pick uh, let's think of a number let's say i want uh, to produce 2.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 moles of NaClO3 and i want to know how much how much uh, NaOH is required so I want to know how much NaOH is required. Now I know that the ratio between NaCl and NaOH, six NaOH molecules produce five molecules of NaCl. So I'm going to use that ratio. I know that six produces five. So if I have 2.1 into 10 raised to power minus two moles, then how much NaOH would be required? And that would be X and I can cross multiply use the unitary method and that would give me x would come out to be it would be 5x is equal to 2.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 multiplied by 6 and let's get rid of the 5 on that side and i'm going to divide that by 5 and i'm going to solve that on my calculator now so it's going to be 2.1 so it's 2.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 and then multiplied by 6 and divided by 5 and that gives me 0 0.0252 so this comes out to be 0 0.0252 moles really i want to figure out how much how many molecules of chlorine are going to be needed to produce uh, this particular amount of NaCl so I can use either ratios I can pick NaOH uh, I know that 6 NaOH react with 3 molecules of chlorine so I can use that ratio and if I use that ratio it's going to give me I know that 6 NaOH produce 3 Cl2 molecules so if I have 0 0.0252 moles then x moles of chlorine would be required and I can use the unitary method cross multiply and x would come out to be 6x would be equal to 3 into 0 0.0252 and get rid of the 6 on that side so my x would come out to be it would be 3 multiplied by 0 0.0252 and I'm going to divide that by 6 and this comes out to be equal to 0 0.0126 moles so this is equal to 0 0.0126 six moles and in a similar way i i am interested in finding out how much naclo3 is formed 
So I can pick any um, other substance and use its ratio. So I'm going to pick NaCl because I know the quantity of NaCl that is reacting in my uh, reaction. So I know the ratio is 5 ratio 1. So let's use that ratio. It's 5 NaCl reacting, uh, produ uh, being produced with respect to 1 NaClO3 being produced. So if I have 2.1 into 10 is power minus 2 moles, the next would be produced and I can cross multiply and it would come out to be equal to 5x would be equal to 2.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 and you get rid of the 5 divide this by 5 so it's uh I'm going to solve that now so it's uh, 2.1 so 2.1 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 5 and that gives me 4.2 into 10 is power minus 3. So this is 4.2 into 10 is power minus 3 moles. And in exactly the same way, I would want to find out what quantity of H2O is produced. So I can use any other element or substance in the reaction. Let's pick NaClO3. And I know that one NaClO3 is produced alongside three water molecules. So that's the ratio between uh, in which NaClO3 and H2O are being produced. So let's pick a, we know that one produces three. So if I have 4.2 into 10 is power minus three moles, then X, mo X molecules of H2O would be produced and I can cross multiply and this would come out to be x would come out to be 3 into multiplied by 4.2 into 10 is power minus 3 and let's solve that that would give me 4.2 into 10 is power minus 3 which is equal to and then you're going to multiply that by 3 and the answer is 0 0.0126 0 0.0126 moles and you can also notice that if the ratio is the same, then the quantity or the amount of substance being produced or consumed is going to be the same. So look at the ratio of 3H2O with the ratio of chlorine. So the ratio is exactly the same. Three molecules of chlorine produce three molecules of H2O. So if you have 0 0.0126 moles of uh, Cl2, it's going to produce the same amount of H2O, 0 0.0126.